So welcome to my base here on our multiplayer server. Um, I was asked if I had a video of my little house and my stave church um, and I don't so <laughs> this is why I'm, I'm doing this. Um, I, uh, I'll start with the, the little house. I'll have a little look around the outside. The um, original inspiration for this came from somebody else's video, I will admit. Um, I saw it and I thought it was really, really neat, so I thought I'd give it a try as well. Um, let's go, there are in fact two doors, you can go in this door, or if you don't like that door, you can come around here and you can come in this door. Uh, with a, a space this small, <laughs> I don't think having two doors is uh, um, particularly meaningful. But um, anyway, uh, you can probably see from the uh, the HUD there that my comfort level is 18. Um, so for a space this small, I think that's uh, I think that's pretty good. Here is the forge, uh, level seven forge. So um, that'll. Uh, That'll do most things. And then we've got the workbench here, uh, and that's a level 5 workbench. So all fully upgraded to um, everything um, as it should be. You don't have to have, obviously, the, the gates uh, here, the doors. You can get rid of those. I quite like them to hide the workbench. Um, so all the uh, the add-ons are mainly in either the the attic space, effectively, um, up above the workbench um, and the forge, um, and there's even there's a, a couple that are buried in the floor underneath. I had to put the anvils right there. That was the only place that they could go, and um, effectively underneath the floor of the uh, of the forge is the um, is the uh, I call it the spider, the bellows, um, and obviously the tool racks are just on the shelf there. Um, so I've got a nice little window there, and a, 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 I suppose a beautiful window there. No coal. Damn. Um, spiral staircase down the spiral staircase and into the bedroom, um, and again. Everything's here to keep that comfort level up, um, and a few bits just to make it look pretty. I've got my food and all my ingredients um, and everything I need, so I think it's really quite cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, the s the spiral staircase uh, is is also something that I'm very fond of. Um, and like I say, the most of the stuff is hidden in the roof. So tiny four by three footprint, and everything's there. So that's the tiny house. Um, go and have a look at the stave church. That's over here. This is is based on uh, pictures of the. Uh, uh, Borgrund Stave Church. I'm probably doing horrible things to the name of that. I apologise. My um, Scandinavian is uh, zero, um, and I've done nothing with it internally, um, furniture-wise or decoration-wise. It was um, just such a huge space. But once I've finished it, I <laughs> I put in some lights and the, a fire, but um, that was as far as I went. Um, and you can come up the stairs to another floor and again up the stairs and this is this is all wood there's no uh, there's no wood iron beams um, in this structure at all uh, this is absolutely definitely the highest that you that you can go with wood um, and I think it uh, it was an interesting 
build to do in, in terms of you know, technical aspects. It was it was a lot of fun to actually build, but like I say, once I once I got it built, that was it. I left it at that. Shame, but um, it's there. So we'll just pop out of this door so we can see it from this angle. This is my my dock. So that's what it looks like from the front-ish. Um, so that was, that was fun to do. Uh, this is another construction project that's underway. Um, as I say, this is my dock. Um, designed so that you can you can haul stuff out of your boat into a cart and then run the cart to wherever it is you need to you need to go and hopefully do that easily. This is my lighthouse. Um, I call it my industrial area because I've got uh, smelters and such like in here. And I will run quickly up the lighthouse. You can see that this has got wood iron beams. Um, I needed the, the wood iron beams to make it tall enough to to be a reasonable height. Uh, all the way up to the top. Round and round we go. Um, and there, bonfire up at the top. That's it. Again, it was it was just one of these things. When I thought I want to build a lighthouse, so I did. Uh, and we'll run all the way back down again. Shut the door. Um, and again, as I say, this is what I call my industrial area. So up on the roof where the smelters are I've got a, a, a kiln um, and these these are just buried iron <laughs> gates just to make it look like a, uh, a nice fence around there um, I don't think there's much else that I've just got a a couple of buildings here just to uh, look like there there's storage for the the windmill and the the farm area this um this building here is as i say it's 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 a work in progress it's uh just a a big house it's it's like a blacksmith's house that's the idea of it anyway um, So it's got a, a stone area. That's this is the workshop area, and then we've got an internal area for uh, living. Um, I'm just going to I'm just going to quickly run back into my little house and go to sleep for the night because it's getting dark. Good night, everybody. No dreams tonight. And we're up on a bike again. So that's... Um, I've got a wall around my base because I was fed up with... Uh, um, things like graylings just wandering in and, uh, and being a nuisance. Just a, a little watchtower. So that's my base. I will run quickly and just show you our um, collective farmhouse that uh, we have in 
well it's on the border of um, the plains and the meadows um, now this has been pretty much solely built by um, one of the other chaps on the server um, and it's huge and I'm just going to have some food because it is plains and there are occasionally um, goblins wandering around which is can be a bit of a shock so I'll just go over here so that I can turn around and you can see the farmhouse in the rising sun isn't it beautiful um, like I say this is a collective effort although the building was was largely largely done by one person um, and we've got a bit of decoration done here um, but this is the just a sort of a living area stroke bar this is through here is where our portals are. This is my portal. This is someone else's portal. Um, we do have plans to um, put some. There's a like a dock around the back, a very crude dock, um, and there is, well, there were plans to to do something to get around there, but um, with the new update coming very soon, that probably won't happen. Um, because we'll be starting a new server, new playthrough. Um, and we have the area underneath is uh, smelters and workshops and so on. So that's the farmhouse. Uh, and finally upstairs, which is that's this isn't really finished either. But so there we go. There we are. Uh, locks meet, just in case you. Yeah hungry in the middle of the night. Um, let me just go to one of the other bases. Uh, let's go to Ragnar's base. Ragnar um, constructed a pyramid for his base. Um, again he's got a, a sort of an underground workshop-y type place and then <coughs> the pyramid which is very interesting. looks really cool from down here looking up at the pyramid um, and Wildy the other Viking on the server he did a treehouse build let's see if we can and have a look at his his build. Uh, uh, where am I going? Wildy, there we go. So he's obviously he's got his gardening areas and 
such like this little piggly wiggly farm um, you can see that isn't <laughs> that isn't even its final form that's not the base because you go up the stairs So this takes you into his workshop area, but then to actually get to his living area, go through another portal. And it takes us way up the top here. So this is right at the top of the tree. Um, lovely views. Very desirable residence. So, Lord of all you survey. Ooh, secret doorways. <laughs> Into a leaf filled room. Um, so that's that's the tree house. So hopefully you've. Uh, enjoyed my little tour of our server um, we're we're keen on playing um, we're keen on building some some strange and some not so strange ideas uh, hopefully it's uh, it's been interesting so thank you very much and uh, see you after the update <laughs>